Is it real? I don't know who you're talking to when you were talking. I was trying to tell you something. You started you talking. You like, give me orders no idea what, telling me no, I'm to help you do this and that. I thought you wanted to help me. I do, but you don't tell me I have to. It's a settlement demand letter, too. You should ask for compensation for the use of your name for all of their monetized videos. In order for, in order for me to be able to do this, I need your help because I can't get on the Internet. Can I write a cease or desist letter or must I hire an attorney? The short answer is no. You do not need to hire an attorney. Anyone can send out a cease and desist letter. However, if you want the person to take your letter seriously, this is one of the many reasons you may want an attorney who specializes in your case to at least review your letter before sending it out. For a small fee, an even smaller fee than a consultation fee, you can have a lawyer review your letter and sign it and send it on his or her letterhead. There, I helped. Okay. Thank you. So we know what to do with that. So I can write the letter. The lawyer will review, review it. And put it on their letterhead for a fee. If you have a yeah. good case. Yeah. Okay. An attorney can advise you of what your rights are and if they've been violated. And if you have enough grounds for legal action, you do not need to have grounds for legal action in order to send out a cease and desist letter. However, if your cease and desist letter makes accusations of possible illegal activity, it should be mentioned. And the local laws that have been violated, as well as any other laws, should also be noted. Hate crime. <laughs> what? Hate crime. The, the, the threats and bets of when I'm going to die and then saying that they think it's going to be within a year. Okay, that's not a hate crime. That is um, a that is a threat, maybe perhaps a terrorist threat, but yeah. hate crime. You guys are not a protected class. Like, pedophiles are not like black people or Jewish people or gay people. Okay? Well, like, that doesn't, not, that yeah, doesn't matter. It does. it does matter. I know what a hate crime is, Lauren. You're using... Are you using a legal... Yeah, but term? I'm still protected. I'm still a United are States citizen. Use, that's not a... That doesn't want hate... Lauren, are you going to use hate crime casually or legally? Casually means stupid corn, um, not knowing the fucking definition. It's not a fucking hate crime, stupid. You're not a protected class. This is your fucking citizen, idiot. You are, it's a thought crime. You, you don't need it. Okay, why do you need the word stupid and idiot and all that shit? Because you're insisting that you're right. You don't. You're not smarter than I am. Don't fucking. No, I'm trying that. to. I'm trying to talk to you to figure out exactly what it's going to be. No, you're telling me it's a hate crime. I brought up to you that it's not and gave you the reasons, and you're arguing with me. Well, I'm not arguing. I'm mentioning what, what's in my head, so that way, if there's any way around making or whatever we needed to make it. Lauren, they're making a threat against your well-being. That's illegal, okay? Stop trying to fucking make it sound worse by some stupid word that you don't even fucking know the definition of. That's the problem. People don't take you seriously when you make threats and you fucking exaggerate everything, all right? Stop it. Well, I'm trying to look for the worst fucking thing to possibly put on them. Lauren, they're harassing you. Tell them to stop. That's it, stupid. Say you don't need the word stupid in there again. Yeah, I do, because you're not fucking listening. It helps. No, you don't. <sighs> it helps what? Character assassination, libel, slander, defamation, harassment. Okay? That's enough. Those are all illegal. <laughs> Stop acting like... I mean, if you put something in there like a hate crime... That makes you look fucking horrible because that means that you're comparing yourself to people who have lost their lives because of nothing they've ever done. You've actually done something to get attention to yourself. And I'm not talking shit to you about it. But uh, you and I'm, 
and I paid the price for it already. Right. And I'm blunt. still paying the fucking price with a being blunt. on probation, and going to the class, again, and all that shit. Because the conversations lasted 30 seconds, you've already forgotten the point that I'm trying to make, which is it's not a hate crime. I know what I'm, the point you're trying to make is, and I know exactly what you're saying, okay? Well, shut up. Well, I'm pissed off these fucking idiots. It is illegal to say either out I'm loud in on the, or on the internet things about people that are not true or can be harmful to their reputation or ability in engage in gainful activity. You can say your opinion about someone, however... Any false accusations can result in legal repercussions under civil law. You can say, I think that guy is a jerk. But you can't say that Lauren drives drunk all the time. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Character assassination, Lauren. Some examples of harassment, showing up at your front door or threatening to, making you think that somebody is watching you and making you uncomfortable, causing you anxiety. A cease and desist letter is a formal warning to someone to stop doing what they're doing. A compelling reason to use a cease and desist letter is that it is much faster than beginning formal legal proceedings. It also often stops the offending behavior without the need to take it further. In most cases, it costs about a fifth of what it would cost to retain an attorney to actually go to court. <laughs> it's to stop harassment so you need to note the date it began information about specific instances and a date that they have to respond to you that's where your attorney comes in because if you give your attorney's number then they can call and find out that you really do have one All right. It's a the battery's low on my headset, so when it goes dead, I'm gonna have to recharge it, and then I'll call you back after it's recharged. Well, I'll just if you want, we'll right take him. We'll take him write the letter. Huh? What? What? What'd you say? I didn't hear what you said. I said just fucking hang up right now. I gotta recharge my headset, but when I when I call you back, are you gonna answer? I don't know. You want me to? Yeah, I do. If I'm not busy, I will. You want to help me write this thing tonight? Yeah, if you read the chat log with me. Well, come on. How do you need to go right back to that? Because. It's not bad enough that we're having to deal with all this fucking shit that has to do with that show? You know what? If you want me what? to be your girlfriend, then we're going to talk about the stuff that I'm afraid of. And if you don't want me to be your girlfriend, then we don't have to. Fine, I don't mind talking to you about it. Well, but, what do you think? But I'm reading the chat log, they won't even talk to me. It bothers me reading the chat log. It bothers me a lot and makes me uncomfortable reading the chat log because I know it was me that did it and I don't like it. I don't like that I did that. All right.
and I will answer any question that you have. I just don't want to read it. It even made you uncomfortable when we did it the last time. I know, but now listening to how you are and how you were last night and asking myself if I want to get back together with you, all of that shit's coming back. Look, you don't have to. You don't have to. That's fine. But I am using your behavior to make my decision about whether or not this is worth it. Fine, we'll we'll read the chat log. But I don't want to do it tonight. You can do it tomorrow night if you want to. Well, what are you going to do tonight? Get drunk again at Tony's? No. I want to do up this letter. And, and that's, that's going to take us a while to do that probably. Because we'll need specific dates and things that were said and shit like that. I'm not going to get all that for you. I don't, I'm not allowed Thank on there. I'm banned. So I ain't going to be able to help you with that. You need to get somebody to sit behind you at a computer and look at every single thing that's posted and print it out or at least write the dates and what was said down. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking ridiculous fucking bullshit. I know. I don't know what you want me to do about it. I can't fix it. I've tried. I suck. Can't believe these motherfuckers don't have anything better to do in their lives than sit there and fucking harass someone. Well, I can't think about it there. I know. Why would anybody use all their time to harass someone and fuck around with somebody on the phone or whatever? Losers. No. Fucking pathetic. And how. But you know what? It's different when you're fucking with people who don't deserve it. And your stupid friends don't deserve it. Maybe I do, and maybe you do, because we're fucking pieces of shit sometimes. But your mom doesn't deserve it either. And it says here... No, she doesn't. In my old posts, that they send something to your mom about every month, and she might not tell you about it, or unless she does, you don't tell me about it. (coughs) No, she doesn't tell me about it. Apparently, they sent a copy of the book called Lauren to her, where it talks about how she raised you to have sex with your siblings in a closet. What the fuck? These goddamn motherfucking losers. A book that Nathaniel wrote. That's one cocksucker I want to fucking go after, too. Yeah, his name's Francois. Francois Comio. No. What is it? I've told you before and you've written it down. Just forget it. I'm not going to do anything. I'll tell you if you're really going to do something. Jesus Christ. That's what I was wanting to do tonight. To get the addresses and all that shit. Yeah, that's what I was wanting to do. I know. The ones that you gave me. Already. Is Ben. Wait a minute. Who the fuck is that? No. 
Priscilla? In Connecticut. Priscilla? In the open. Priscilla. I don't know who that is. Priscilla? Connecticut. That's Ramona. You gave me that one. <laughs> Dan Danielle, Toronto, Canada. You gave me that one. It's actually. It's actually what? That's her city. It's a suburb of Toronto. But I don't have a physical address for her. Lauren. What? I'm going to tell you one more time. Jeez. Listen. Why, why are you talking to me like I'm stupid? Because you're obviously stupid if you didn't fucking hear what I've been fucking telling you. Well, when you fucking tell me anything about address, evidently. Are you ready to shut the fuck up so I can tell you again? Yes, Malty. The cease and desist letter that you are writing is going to go to the administrators of a website, not a physical address. That's okay. why you need an attorney to do it so they can send it to them electronically and ask them if they have a physical address to be served. That's what's going to scare them. That's what Emma already said. And I believe her because <clears throat> when you ask for a physical address for service, they get scared of a lawsuit. And if they have all fucking day to be online, they probably don't work. Yeah. All right. So let's go on to the administers of Temple of Teacock. <laughs> That's good. Uh, baby, that was really funny. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> it actually should be Temple of Teacock Heads. Okay, but it should be Pimple. Pimple of Teacock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pimple of Pimple of Pimple of the Cock Heads. All right, so I gotta write this up, but I have to give fucking specifics, dates, and shit that was said, things that was done. And fucking letters. What do I do with them? Oh, son of a bitch! I gave them fucking letters to to the police. Although I've got one. You have one. Take a picture of it. I wonder if I can see their. I uh, notice their handwriting. I think I might have already taken. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I have two. Yeah, that's a lean. Oh yeah, that's not that's not a naked man letter. No, I got another another one too. I, I probably already showed you this one too. I don't know, but when we're off the phone, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. This one is. Oh, doesn't have any return address, but it, it came from Providence, Rhode Island. That's where it sent from. The very next evening. Oh, yeah, well, here's the thing. Please this stuff to YouTube and name it Lauren Armstrong. Please don't. If you want to share it, with somebody who's not interested and doesn't give enough of a fuck to want to give Betty money for it, that's okay. But, like, don't upload it to YouTube. Um, you guys can believe me or not. I don't really give a fuck because it's... If you're not doing anything, you don't got to worry about anything. But, I mean, if you have a channel and you talk about Lorne, or you might be the admin of the Church of Cod Facebook page, you could get a letter or even be deposed. And you have to go show up. Um, anybody could file a lawsuit against anybody for anything. And since Lauren's not paying for this lawyer, uh, he's going to take advantage of it. 
So, yeah, I mean, you guys can just shrug and say, well, Lauren's not, Lauren don't care. <laughs> yeah, uh, he has his friends checking every day for stuff. And they did register on, on your little forum, guys, even though you <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> All right, decoy call. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. I don't have friends, zero friends. And if you don't have friends either, then you're in the right place. Remember I Love Lucy? We are friends of the friendless. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Anyway, the girl voicing you, that horrible voice in those calls. I don't know who she is. Oh, no. I don't know who she is. And that's what I told the lawyer, but the lawyer didn't believe me. They begged me for the names and addresses of every single person on the forum and thought that I had something to do with that forum. I mean, if you look at the quality, you'd see why they would think that. But really, I don't. I have nothing to do with that forum. Um, and I told them as much, but I didn't give them your punk-ass names or your punk-ass information. <laughs> I did you a favor. All right, let's hear the decoy call. Shut up, Emma! Okay. Wait, you're not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to know who you are. I oh, am. Yeah. So I'm going to fuck you in person. <laughs> you what? All right. Sorry. You know, I pushed play and I talked over it for a little bit because my it wasn't loud. So now we're going to hear it again from the beginning. All you guys are going to jack off because this is what all you wanted. After this, you're going to come. This wasn't included, by the way, in the Lorne dump. This is something that only a few people sharing, sharing. This would be against my advisement. Okay. Shut up, Emma. Oh, baby. So I'm going to fuck you in person. <laughs> you what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you anxious to get your cherry popped? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> You're my little girl. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let me have your pussy. I don't know. All right, so here's the deal. This call is like fucked up. And I had a conversation with somebody who's way more of an OG than I think any of us anywhere here. Um, but I, I had to remove her voice. And it was under that condition that I was allowed to share this. Um, yeah, so sorry if the audio... I, had, I tried to normalize it as much as I could. But it's really tough when you're doing that especially if you're not trained in it. If you're specifically trained in um, audio engineering or something, you know, you could do a much better job, I know. But, I mean, if that's if you were willing to participate <laughs> and uh, use your voice once in a while on calls. By the way, if you want to do that, let me know, because I have another predator um, who's into some things, man, who... <laughs> Shut up, I'm on, play the decoy call. Pausing again. Maybe you're going to have to get somebody who actually does know audio engineering so you can cut all of this for your screen recordings of this chat. It is going to suck for you. Watch. Try this. Cut it now. Cut it now. Cut it now. Cut it now. I mean, that's true. I knew this would be a debate, and that's why I fought hard to... Can I please just change the voice, the pitch of your voice, the volume? And uh, no, I, I was told I could not. But 
then I thought about it. Well, what's worse? Showing up and getting your freedom removed after having been tricked? And before that, saying those things? Or going to prison because of that? I am a I'm a... Uh, all right. Real talk. I'm a little bit annoyed because I wish I could share the whole fucking thing. It's not your fault. I wished... Ugh. Ugh, all the questions would be answered. But I, I will tell you this. Um, you can tell by Lauren's voice that it's more recent than old if you compare or, or contrast. Um, however, that makes it fucking worse, right? Thanks. I mean, to me it does. But I can't say one way or the other because if I do, then that person's going to be mad at me. No! Play the rest of the call! <laughs> Knock, knock, who's there? Interrupting Cal, move! <laughs> Fuck me, man. When I said lost decoy call and I was hinting, immediately email, do not blah, 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 you promised. I'm like, yeah, I know, but... Uh, uh. And this is the way, the only way I could keep my promise to you guys. But really, like... Uh, even with, with the... Two of my friends have heard the full call and they, they've even said with the voice, it's much worse because the voice does sound very young by design. I could definitely transcribe what they said. She didn't say I couldn't. The words could be, yes.